Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. Our verse is Revelation 19, verse 16. On his robe and on his thigh, he has this name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Have you seen the window at the front of our church? It's a depiction of Jesus' ascension into heaven. He rules everything. Nobody is above him. Of all the powerful rulers, he is most powerful. He can do anything. If any king would try to oppose him, they can't win. He's the king of kings. Aren't you glad? We might be worried about powerful earthly rulers who have nuclear weapons and who don't like us. We might be worried about civil unrest. The latest version is in Afghanistan. What's going to come next? Different leaders, different rulers fill us with fear. But with Jesus as king, they can't win. They can't hurt him or us, not really, because Jesus conquered death. And not even death can separate us from the king of kings. So we don't have to be frightened of earthly rulers that are out to get us. Jesus is king over all. But you know, there is another earthly king, someone different from Jesus, an earthly king we actually do like. Can you guess who this king is? It's not our mayor or our governor or our president. Whenever this king gets his way, we get something out of it. Whenever this king is praised, we feel really good. Do you know which king we all love? His name is Self. I like myself, and so do you. We all like King Self. Okay, so maybe that wasn't a fair question, because none of us technically is a king, but we like to think of ourselves that way. Like a king, we like to get our way. Like a king, we like it when everybody goes along with what we want. That's not wrong, but it's easy to go too far with it. Because of our sinful nature, it's easy to like King Self so much that we put King Self ahead of King Jesus. We have done this. Instead of using Jesus' name in prayer, we have tried to make a name for ourselves by going it alone. Instead of praising his name by telling others the good things he has done for us, we have tried to show off to others about the good things we have done. Instead of using his name to give thanks, we have complained about not getting the things we want. What should the King of Kings do with people like us who in our sinful nature are always trying to steal the honor he deserves. He's the true king. He should go to battle against us. I don't have to tell you who would win if he did. But that's not the kind of king he is. This king carried all our sins to the cross and suffered and died for us there. This king has won forgiveness for all the sins of everyone. Yours too. So yes, Jesus is bigger than the mightiest king, but he is also bigger than all sin. And he's your king. You didn't choose him to be your king. He chose you to be in his kingdom. At your baptism, he called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Now he rules in your heart through his words. Not words of commands or threats of punishment, but he rules there with words of forgiveness. He rules by means of his gospel, with his words. King Jesus chases away all the guilt of our sin. He empowers us to live like people who have been called out of darkness into his light. So pray to him, praise him, and give thanks to him and him alone. Remember that picture of Jesus in the front of our church. He's ascended, but he's not far away. He rules in our hearts. He rules everything in this world for our good. All praise to Jesus, the King of kings and Lord of lords, now and forever. We'll see you next time.